Flip-flop Obama puts oil pipeline on fast track. Yes. Horrible. Horrible decision. And right now, uh, not only did President Obama fast track the Keystone Pipeline, but once more, you have a situation where protest is being sequestered. It's coming out of Climate Connections. There are Native Americans who are gathering in Cushing, Oklahoma, to protest Obama's uh, praise and uh, announcement of fast-tracking Keystone's XL pipeline, at least the southern part, which, of course, we know is going to um, increase gas prices in this country uh, because the refineries down in the Gulf Coast are going to ship this uh, gas to uh, foreign countries. And because it was uh, a lot of this that was uh, stuck in uh, the Midwest there was getting refined in the Midwest, it was being sold in the Midwest, and it was depressing, not significantly, well, not insignificantly, I should say, not massively, uh, gas prices in that area. But um, you have Native Americans gathering in Cushing, Oklahoma, for a planned protest. They are literally being put in a, a cage a fenced-in area in Memorial Park. This, of course, is one of those uh, famous free speech zones. Because if you're going to have free speech, you got to put it in a zone. you got to get in the zone, the free speech zone, where you can actually protest what's going on here. Marty uh, Kobinas of the Indigenous Environmental Network said, President Obama is an adopted member of the Crow tribe, so is fast-tracking a project that will desecrate known sacred sites and artifacts is a real betrayal and disappointment for his native relatives everywhere. So uh, enjoy that free speech zone today. Head into the zone. You'll get to say three different critical things of our government. Horrible. And, of course, Keystone Pipeline is not going to really be uh, much of a benefit to this country, but it will be to those oil companies.